At birth, a female carries a breathtaking inheritance, one to two million primordial follicles. Each follicle cradles an immature egg, and together they represent her entire lifetime supply. Unlike many cells in the body, no new follicles are created after birth. This finite reserve is the foundation of her reproductive journey. Yet from the very beginning, loss begins. By puberty, only 300,000 to 500,000 remain, reduced by a natural process known as atresia, in which follicles quietly degenerate. It is a biological pruning that shapes the future of fertility. Each cycle, hormonal cues awaken a cohort of follicles, but rarely more than one completes the journey to ovulation. The rest fall away, unseen casualties of biology selection. Though born with millions of possibilities, across a lifetime only 300 to 400 eggs will ever be ovulated. Scarcity is written into abundance from the start. As the years pass, the reserve not only dwindles but ages. By the mid-30s, mitochondria falter, chromosomal errors rise, and egg quality declines, an invisible erosion of potential. By around age 50, the ovarian vault is nearly empty. Only a few hundred to a thousand non-viable follicles remain, too few and too damaged to sustain reproduction. This depletion narrows fertility, heightens miscarriage risk, and limits the success of reproductive technologies. Biology whispers that time is finite, but reproduction is more than follicles. It is a hormonal symphony. GnRH from the brain signals FSH and LH, orchestrating follicle growth, ovulation, and uterine preparation. Mid-cycle, estrogen climbs to a peak. This surge triggers luteinizing hormone, unleashing ovulation, the dramatic release of a mature egg. The ruptured follicle becomes the corpus luteum, producing progesterone and estrogen, stabilizing the uterine lining in anticipation of life. When fertilization does not occur, hormone levels drop, the lining is shed, and the rhythm begins again. As menopause approaches, this rhythm falters. Inhibin levels fall, FSH rises, follicle recruitment accelerates, and timing becomes unpredictable. Sometimes follicles recruit too soon, overlapping cycles in the luteal out-of-phase phenomenon, a hallmark of instability. Eventually, the cycles end. Menopause, from the Greek menos, month, and pauses, to cease, marks the final period. By medical convention, menopause is defined as one year without menstruation, signaling the irreversible loss of ovarian function. The early transition can last years with subtle symptoms, irregular cycles, restless sleep, the first warm waves of hot flashes. When gaps exceed 60 days, the late transition begins. Symptoms intensify, cycles lengthen, and the ovarian symphony nears its coda. But the ovaries do not retire in silence. Their decline echoes across the body, reshaping bone, heart, skin, and mind. In part two, we explore those echoes.